Top 10 Fascinating Facts About Leonardo da Vinci Discover the secrets of Leonardo da Vinci on this journey through 10 astonishing facts about his life and work. From futuristic inventions to the true story behind the Mona Lisa, dive into the legacy of a genius who still leaves us in awe. Are you ready to see the world through Leonardo's eyes? Number 10. Leonardo's Flight Leonardo da Vinci, a true Renaissance spirit, demonstrated an insatiable fascination with flight, which manifested in his detailed studies and designs of various flying machines. His inspiration came from the meticulous observation of birds in flight, from which he drew aerodynamic principles that he applied to his inventions. Among his numerous designs, the ornithopter stands out as a testament to his genius and innovation. This device, designed to emulate the flapping of a bird's wings, consisted of a set of mechanical wings that, theoretically, would allow a human to soar through the skies. However, the realization of the ornithopter never moved from the pages of his notebooks to tangible reality. The technological limitations of his time, as well as the inherent challenges of the design, prevented Leonardo from seeing his dream of human flight become a reality. Despite this, his contributions to aeronautics cannot be underestimated. Leonardo not only conceptualized flying machines but also explored fundamental aspects of aerodynamics, such as the study of airflow and the principle of lift, concepts that would be crucial for the future development of aviation. Leonardo's detailed drawings, accompanied by notes written in his characteristic mirror writing, offer a window into the mind of a man who was decades, if not centuries, ahead of his time. Through his sketches, it is evident his intuitive understanding that human flight would require in-depth understanding of nature's forces, a perspective we now recognize as a precursor to the modern science of aeronautics. Leonardo's relentless curiosity about flight also reflected in his anatomical studies, particularly in his interest in the mechanics of bird flight. He analyzed the structure of wings and the muscles needed for flight, seeking analogies that could be applied to the design of his machines. Although the ornithopter was never built during his lifetime, Leonardo's passion and ingenuity for conquering the skies continue to inspire current dreamers and scientists, serving as a reminder that the frontiers of knowledge and innovation are always ready to be challenged. Number 9. Talented Ambidextrous Leonardo da Vinci a Renaissance genius known for his vast contribution to art and science, also stood out for a particularly unique physical ability, he was ambidextrous. This capability to use both hands with equal skill allowed him to perform tasks simultaneously and with an efficiency that amazed his contemporaries. One of the most fascinating manifestations of this ability was his famous mirror writing technique. Leonardo wrote his notes from right to left, making the text only clearly readable when reflected in a mirror. It is speculated that this technique was not only a way to keep his observations and discoveries protected from curious eyes but also a testament to his exceptionally inventive mind and desire to challenge conventional norms. The impact of his ambidexterity extended beyond his writing techniques. In art, Leonardo was capable of drawing with one hand while making annotations with the other, allowing him to work more fluidly and capture his observations of the natural world with unprecedented precision. This ability was particularly useful in his detailed anatomical studies and his meticulous engineering drawings, where precision and the ability to capture subtle details were crucial. Leonardo's ambidexterity also reveals deeper aspects of his creative process and his holistic approach to learning and exploration. For him, the simultaneous use of both hands was not merely a physical peculiarity but a manifestation of his belief in the harmony between art and science, and between observation and creation. This integration of diverse skills and knowledge is what allowed Leonardo to transcend the limitations of his time and make significant contributions to multiple fields of knowledge. His ability to write backwards and his dexterity with both hands have been the subject of study and admiration for centuries. These skills not only demonstrate his exceptional coordination and motor control but also underline his constant desire to experiment and his passion for challenging the boundaries of knowledge and human expression. 
Through his exploration of these abilities, Leonardo not only left a legacy of artworks and scientific discoveries but also offered an inspiring example of how insatiable curiosity and boundless creativity can lead humans to reach new heights of achievement. Number 8. The Vitruvian Man Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man transcends art to become an icon of the intersection between science and humanity. This drawing, made around 1490, is not only one of Leonardo's most recognized images but also a visual representation of the ideas of proportion and harmony that defined beauty and perfection in the Renaissance. Based on the descriptions of the Roman architect Vitruvius, Leonardo illustrates the ideal proportions of the human body, placing it within the universal geometric shapes of the circle and the square, symbolizing the cosmos and the earth, respectively. The meticulous attention to detail and mathematical precision with which Leonardo approached this study not only demonstrate his artistic skill but also his deep understanding of human anatomy. The Vitruvian Man is not just a drawing, it is a comprehensive study of human proportions, reflecting Leonardo's holistic approach to knowledge, where art and science merge in a unified quest for truth. This drawing symbolizes the Renaissance ideal of the universal man, an individual whose education and capabilities encompass both the arts and the sciences, embodying the belief in human potential to understand and reflect the harmony of the universe. The work also reflects Leonardo's obsession with nature and his belief in the intrinsic connection between humans and the natural world. Through proportion and geometry, Leonardo sought to uncover the universal laws that govern both the human body and the cosmos. The Vitruvian Man thus becomes an expression of this search, an attempt to capture the essence of natural perfection through the lens of scientific observation and artistic representation. His study went beyond merely illustrating proportions. Leonardo actively investigated individual variations and how these related to beauty and health. This analytical approach to the human body not only influenced the field of art, allowing artists to create more realistic and expressive works, but also anticipated discoveries in anatomy and physiology. The Vitruvian Man remains a testament to Leonardo's vision, a man who saw in the complexity of the human body a reflection of the majesty of the universe, a vision that continues to inspire curious minds to explore the connections between us and the world around us. Number 7. Multidisciplinary Interests Leonardo da Vinci, with his insatiable appetite for knowledge, embodies the ideal of the Renaissance man, deeply engaging in a surprisingly wide range of disciplines. His curiosity knew no bounds, encompassing painting and sculpture to engineering, anatomy, botany, music, and beyond. This diversity of interests not only illustrates his desire to understand the world in all its facets but also reflects his belief in the interconnection of all areas of knowledge. In the field of anatomy, for example, Leonardo conducted detailed dissections of human bodies, a notably bold endeavor for his time, marked by religious and social restrictions. His anatomical drawings, characterized by their astonishing precision, not only enhanced the understanding of the human body but also served as valuable educational tools for future generations. In botany, he studied the structure of plants and trees in great detail, recording his observations in meticulous drawings that stand out for their scientific value as well as their artistic beauty. Engineering was another area where Leonardo showed extraordinary inventiveness. He designed machines and technological innovations that were centuries ahead of his time, including prototypes of a parachute, a helicopter, and a bicycle. Although many of these inventions did not materialize during his lifetime, his detailed designs serve as testimony to his futuristic vision and his understanding of complex mechanical principles. In music, Leonardo also experimented, showing an interest in acoustics and the design of instruments. Though this facet of his genius is less known, it contributes to the image of a man for whom beauty and knowledge had no boundaries, and where each exploration was a door to new discoveries. The amalgamation of Leonardo's interests not only enriched his work in each individual field but also allowed for a synergy of ideas, where discoveries in one discipline fueled innovation in another. This integrative approach to knowledge, 
where science informs art and vice versa, is crucial to understanding Leonardo's enduring impact on history and culture. His legacy is not just the sum of his contributions in specific fields but the demonstration of a way of thinking that transcends disciplines, a reminder that the greatest revelations often lie at the convergence of art, science, and technology. Number 6. The Last Supper. Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, The Last Supper, painted between 1495 and 1498, is not only one of the most iconic representations of this biblical event but also a turning point in the history of art due to its innovative technique and composition. Located in the refectory of the convent of Santa Maria della Grazie in Milan, Italy, this mural painting captures the exact moment when Jesus announces that one of his twelve disciples will betray him, a scene loaded with emotion and dramatic tension. Leonardo broke with the conventions of his time by choosing to work with tempera and oil on dry plaster, instead of the traditional fresco technique used for murals. This decision allowed him an unprecedented level of detail and depth of expression, but also posed long-term conservation challenges. Despite these issues, his approach enabled precision in the modeling of the figures and the expression of emotions that have made The Last Supper a fascinating study of the human condition. The arrangement of the characters and the perspective used in the painting reveal Leonardo's genius for composition. He centers the action on Jesus, using linear perspective to direct the viewer's gaze towards him, who, despite being in the midst of a group, seems to be in his own space. This technique not only highlights the figure of Jesus but also intensifies the drama of the scene, with each apostle responding differently to the revelation of betrayal. Beyond its composition, The Last Supper is notable for the use of gestures and facial expressions to tell a complex story of faith, doubt, and betrayal. Leonardo carefully studies the psychology of each character, creating a rich visual narrative that invites reflection and empathy. This attention to psychological and emotional detail not only changed the way biblical narratives were approached in art but also influenced generations of artists in their portrayal of human representation. The technique, composition, and deep emotional content of The Last Supper underline Leonardo's mastery not only as a painter but also as an observer of the human condition. Through this work, he manages to convey a moment of profound introspection and emotional complexity, marking a milestone in the history of art that continues to resonate with viewers to this day. Number 5. Visionary Inventor. Leonardo da Vinci, primarily recognized for his contributions to art, also left an indelible mark on the world of invention and engineering. His notebooks, filled with sketches and details of inventions ahead of their time, testify to a mind that saw beyond the limitations of his era. Among the pages of these manuscripts, we find designs of extraordinary caliber, from an armored tank, precursor to modern military vehicles, to the concept of a submarine and the idea of a revolving bridge, elements that evidence his capacity to dream of the future of technology. The tank designed by Leonardo, for example, was conceived as a cone-shaped wooden structure, covered in metal plates to repel enemy attacks, moved from within by men turning cranks. Although this vehicle was never built in his time, the concept underlies the principles of contemporary combat tanks. Similarly, his idea of a submarine, which would allow occupants to breathe underwater through tubes projecting to the surface, reflects his intuitive understanding of physics and engineering principles. In addition to his military inventions, Leonardo also showed interest in the challenges of civil engineering. His design of a revolving bridge, intended to be easily assembled and disassembled, would facilitate the movement of armies but also trade and the everyday life of cities. Although many of these inventions did not materialize during his lifetime, Leonardo's detailed designs show his innovative thought process, marked by detailed observation of the natural world and the application of its laws to technical problems. Leonardo's genius as an inventor lies not only in the creativity of his designs but also in his methodology. His inventions were the result of meticulous observation, experimentation, and the application of scientific principles, long before the modern scientific methodology was formally established. 
Through his research and designs, Leonardo once again demonstrated his belief in the interconnection of all disciplines, applying his knowledge of art, science, and nature to innovate and solve practical problems. These sketches of inventions, though not all realized in his time, continue to inspire inventors and scientists, reminding us of the power of imagination and the importance of looking beyond current limitations to imagine what might be possible. In each design, Leonardo da Vinci encapsulated the essence of futuristic vision, merging art and science to explore the frontiers of the imaginable. Number 4. Advanced Anatomical Studies Leonardo da Vinci did not conform to the conventions of his time. His ambition led him to delve into the study of human anatomy through detailed dissections, a practice that in the Renaissance was surrounded by controversy and religious and social restrictions. This quest for anatomical knowledge was not merely a whim. It was a manifestation of his relentless desire to understand the underlying mechanics of human life. Leonardo conducted more than 30 dissections of human bodies, which allowed him to produce around 240 detailed anatomical drawings with notes that reveal an unprecedented level of precision and understanding for his time. These anatomical studies covered a wide range of areas, including the structure of bones, the mechanics of muscles and tendons, the circulatory system, and even the functioning of the heart and reproductive organs. What is remarkable about these studies is not only the accuracy of the drawings but also the conclusions Leonardo reached, many of which anticipated discoveries that would only be formally recognized centuries later. For example, his observations on blood circulation and the functioning of the heart are close to what we understand today in cardiology. What made Leonardo extraordinary was not just his ability to observe and draw with almost photographic precision but also his capacity to think beyond what he saw, proposing theories about how different systems of the body interact with each other. His holistic approach, integrating art with science, allowed his anatomical studies to transcend mere illustration turning them into functional analyses of the human body. Moreover, Leonardo was deeply interested in physiology and how emotion affects the human body, reflected in his studies on facial expression and the muscles involved in generating emotions. This exploration not only enhanced his ability to depict human figures with unprecedented emotional realism in his art but also contributed to the understanding of the interconnection between the mind and the body, a field that continues to develop today. Leonardo's legacy in the field of anatomy is a testament to his genius and insatiable curiosity. His anatomical drawings are not only works of art in themselves but also significant contributions to the study of the human body. By challenging the norms of his time and seeking deeper knowledge of anatomy, Leonardo da Vinci paved the way for future advances in medicine and science, demonstrating that art and science are two sides of the same coin in the quest for human understanding. Number 3. The Codex Lester. Among the numerous manuscripts of Leonardo da Vinci, the Codex Lester holds a prominent place, both for its content and its subsequent history. This codex, acquired by Bill Gates in 1994 for the record sum of more than $30 million, encapsulates the essence of Leonardo's curious and analytical mind. Composed of 72 pages of notes and drawings, the Codex Lester focuses on a variety of topics that captured Leonardo's imagination, from hydraulics to the light of the moon, through paleontology and erosion. What makes the Codex Lester extraordinarily relevant is the way Leonardo addresses these topics from an interdisciplinary perspective, merging detailed observation with theorization based on scientific principles. In his studies on water, for example, Leonardo does not limit himself to describing his observations but also formulates theories about the behavior of fluids, anticipating principles that would only be formally recognized with the development of hydrodynamics. Leonardo's fascination with paleontology is also evident in this manuscript, where he reflects on the presence of marine fossils in the mountains, questioning traditional interpretations and suggesting, in a revolutionary way, that the Earth has undergone geological changes over vast periods of time. This ability to see beyond accepted explanations and seek answers in nature itself is a demonstration of his empirical scientific method, still in development. 
Another notable section of the Codex Lester is dedicated to the light of the moon, where Leonardo proposes that the light we perceive from the moon is, in reality, sunlight reflected. His observations and experiments around this phenomenon not only reveal his meticulous attention to detail but also his understanding of optical concepts that would resonate with later scientific studies on light and vision. The importance of the Codex Lester transcends its monetary or historical value. It represents a living testament to the way Leonardo da Vinci approached knowledge and research. By combining detailed observation of the natural world with deep reflection on the underlying principles that govern the universe, Leonardo embodies the ideal of scientific thought. This manuscript not only allows us a glimpse into the mind of one of the greatest geniuses in history but also serves as a source of inspiration for those seeking to understand the world through the integration of art, science, and technology. Number 2. The Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa, possibly the most famous and enigmatic work of art in the world, is a sublime manifestation of the innovative technique and psychological depth that Leonardo da Vinci applied to his art. Painted between 1503 and 1506, although some historians suggest that Leonardo continued working on it until 1517, this masterpiece portrays Lisa Gherardini, the wife of Francesco del Giocondo, with an expressiveness that has captivated viewers for centuries. The sfumato technique, characteristic of this painting, allows a smooth transition between colors and tones, creating an effect of volume and depth unprecedented, bringing the face of the Mona Lisa to life in an almost three-dimensional manner. The enigma of her smile, which seems to change with the angle of view and the emotional state of the viewer, has generated countless interpretations and debates. Leonardo achieved this effect through his mastery of human observation and his understanding of facial anatomy and physiology, applying subtle shadows and tonalities that suggest the contours of the muscles under the skin. This attention to detail is not limited to the expression of the Mona Lisa. The composition of the painting, with the enigmatic landscape of an idealized world in the background, contributes to the atmosphere of mystery and serenity surrounding the subject. Beyond its technical and artistic achievement, the Mona Lisa is a profound study of the human condition, reflecting Leonardo's belief in the harmony between humans and nature. The dreamlike landscape that extends behind Lisa Gherardini symbolizes this connection, with winding paths, calm water, and distant mountains suggesting a universe in which everything is interconnected. The fascination surrounding the Mona Lisa extends beyond its technique or the identity of its subject, it reaches into Leonardo's own life and his approach to art as a way to capture the essence of reality. In this painting, Leonardo not only portrayed a woman, he encapsulated his vision of the universe, where beauty, nature, and humanity intertwine in a visual enigma. This portrait transcends time and space, inviting each viewer to engage in a silent dialogue with the figure on the canvas, a testament to Leonardo's ability to explore the depths of the human soul through art. Number 1. Universal Genius Leonardo da Vinci stands as the epitome of the Renaissance man, a title that encapsulates his mastery over a diverse range of disciplines that transcend art to encompass science, engineering, anatomy, optics, music, architecture, and beyond. His genius lies not only in the magnitude of his achievements in these areas but also in his ability to interconnect knowledge from different fields, revealing a holistic understanding of the world. This integrative approach is what defines Leonardo not only as an artist or scientist but as a visionary whose ideas and discoveries continue to resonate through the centuries. Leonardo da Vinci's legacy is not measured solely by the artworks he left behind, although pieces like the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper, and the Vitruvian Man are testimonies to his unmatched artistic skill. His true legacy is the insatiable curiosity that drove him to explore and understand the world in all its facets. Leonardo did not see science and art as separate disciplines but as two sides of the same coin, with observation and experimentation at the heart of both. His approach to knowledge, based on detailed observation, experimentation, and skepticism toward notions accepted without proof, prefigured the modern scientific method. Through his detailed notebooks, 
filled with drawings, inventions, and theories on everything from anatomy to aerodynamics, Leonardo demonstrated that the desire to learn knows no limits or disciplines. Moreover, Leonardo da Vinci not only anticipated his time in terms of the concepts he explored and the inventions he devised but also embodied the idea that learning is a lifelong process, an endless quest for understanding. His life is a reminder that greatness lies at the intersection of art and science, and that human potential is unlimited when fueled by curiosity, dedication, and passion. This recognition of Leonardo as a universal genius not only celebrates his individual contributions to multiple fields of knowledge but also honors his ability to inspire future generations to look at the world with wonder, to question the established, and to seek beauty in the convergence of artistic and scientific thought. In this sense, Leonardo not only bequeathed us a body of work that defies categorization but a way of seeing and being in the world a perpetual invitation to explore the vast possibilities of human imagination.